welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make 3D baby hand and footprints using Plaster of Paris. You will need window glaze. You'll need an embroidery ring. At, you can get this at any craft store. I got mine at Hobby Lobby. Um, you will need wax paper, a large bowl and spoon, nothing expensive and nothing that you will plan to reuse to eat with. Um, spray paint and ribbon are optional. So you're going to start off by taking about a softball size amount of window glaze and you're going to roll it into a ball with your hands or you can use a rolling pin that might actually be easier and then you're going to take your hand and you're really going to want to get all the creases out make it nice and smooth and you want to make this um, bigger than the embroidery ring that you're using so just keep flattening it out and make it as smooth as possible it doesn't need to be perfect but you do want it to be bigger than the ring it's important to have somebody holding the baby so that you can firmly push their feet or hands into the mold and then pull it up right away. You don't want to leave it in the mold for too long. So now you're ready to make the plaster of Paris. Uh, the directions say two parts plaster, one part cold water. This is about a 10 ounce cup. It was more than enough to make three molds. Um, so I put two cups of the plaster, one cup cold water, and I mixed it until it was creamy and smooth. And once it's mixed pretty pretty well, you're going to want to take your cup and pour it right on top of your prints. And don't be afraid to just get right in there, get a nice smooth coat over the top. It's not going to go on smooth actually to begin with, um, or even I should say. Um, but just pour it on there. You want to make sure that you don't overfill the ring. Um, if it looks like you could add a little more, just use sparingly. You don't want it to um, spill over. And then just take the wax paper and wiggle it. Don't use a spoon to smooth it on top. Just use your hands on the wax paper and give it a good, a good shake. The most important part about this process is to make sure that you pound your fist around the mold. You'll see the bubbles popping. Um, if you don't do this, you will get bubbles on your mold and it, it ruins the project. It really doesn't look good. So make sure that you're doing this on a hard surface. And just pound about, I don't know, 10 times or so around the mold. And you'll see the bubbles popping through. And that's how you know you're, you're getting them all. I have an example of a mold that I didn't pound. Um, I, I was actually doing the mold on a glass table, so I was nervous to um, to break it, and the toes came out pretty bad. So this is what you don't want. Um, to check to make sure whether your, your mold is ready, you just want to shake the wax paper. If you see it still wiggling, it's not ready, you'll know when it's hard. It will feel warm to the touch, and you'll be able to touch it without... Um, getting anything on your fingers. So when you're done, you're going to flip it over, take off the glaze, and you will have your baby prints. And then this part uh, is optional. Here, here's a better view of them. They came out really nice. You can take them outside, and, and I use some spray paint. I love the way that this um, silver looks on the prints, and just make sure you get all the crevices. And these are some hand prints that I did as well. If you decide to add ribbon at the top, uh, right here I just tied a knot, made a bow, and um, one thing to look out for, especially if you're using lighter ribbon, is to be careful that the paint doesn't rub off on the ribbon. So once you have that done, this is perfect for a shadow box or to hang on a wall or put on a baby's dresser. And you can also do animal prints as well. So if you have a cat or a dog, you can get their prints as well. So I just want to say thank you to Bethany Jean, uh, Baby Brinley, and Baby Gabriella for helping me out with this. I hope that you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching.